So I've got some super exciting news and I will not keep you waiting any longer. Look what I have. <gasps> Can you say hi? Hi. <gasps> so this is Daryl Sue, <clears throat> formerly Darla Sue. Um, Darla was picked out by the girl who found him. And last night when I picked him up, like I just looked really quickly and that was a girl. If you've ever tried to like figure out the sex of um, a screaming, wriggling baby raccoon, then you know the difficulty in that and didn't realize till he was calmed down and well fed. I was, you know, just check. I was like, I'm going to double check that earlier. And it was a boy. So kept, kept Sue because, you know, a boy named Sue. Um, but we switched it to Daryl. He is super sweet so far. Yes. He's a little clingy. It's time for his bottle, so he's getting a little whiny too. But don't get me wrong, I am all for nature. Um, and I know that most, oh, well, some people would say that the right thing to do would be to just let this um, baby die like the rest of his family did. But I just can't do that. And neither could the girl who found him. The mom had been hit in front of her house um, a few days ago and the rest of the little litter was killed by dogs and thought all of them were dead. But then this one wandered out. Okay, it might be time to go get a bottle. But she couldn't keep them even though she wanted to. And she knew that I've had a few in the past. So she gave me a call and I am so glad she did. Yes. Okay. Are you ready for a bottle? Definitely ready for a bottle. Okay, so we got the bottle all warmed up and ready to go. We'll see how he does. Um, I got him, I've been getting him to take the bottle a little bit, but he doesn't love it, so I have a syringe too. Okay, you ready? Let's see. This is the best he's done with the bottle so far. Um, he definitely perked up last night after he finally did get some milk in him and he cried all night long. He was only happy if I was holding him, which obviously I love raccoons, but I'm not gonna be that crazy person who sleeps with one. Um, so he had to go in a different part of the house to cry it out. <laughs> Need some more? I don't want him to drink it too quickly um, and aspirate it and that's going to cause all sorts of issues if he gets pneumonia. You good? You just wanted to wander? Hmm? Look over here. Want some more? You're just playing with it. So this is the fourth raccoon, fifth raccoon I've had, I guess. I had um, Baxter and Norma Jean three years ago, which I bottle fed. Um, and then I had Amos Moses last year and he didn't, he was sick. Um, so he died not long after I got him. Um, some, you know, that happens. 
and then I had Roscoe, which everyone saw. And I did not bottle feed him. Uh, my old science teacher and her family did. And then I he came to me when I was when he was a teenager, um, and just needed to be out in the um, country with some woods and all the fun stuff. What do you want? Okay, he likes to be held. Like I said, very, very clingy. Okay, you want another? No? Okay. Okay. He's a little whiny. What do you want? Huh? You just want to be held? Very vocal. You want some more? Not sure. We're just playing with it. You got something in your ears? Hmm? And now we're exploring. See if he's gonna explore a little bit in the shop kitchen. Looking like a no. Come on. <laughs> okay. Come on. Only, only happy if he's up here. And that's only sometimes. Ooh. A little sharp, a little sharp, buddy. He's very vocal. Hopefully, hopefully it goes well. Um, and he's able to be released back in the wild um, like Roscoe was and the others because that's the plan. Got to get him a little bit bigger so he can survive on his own. Maybe. He's a whiny little fella. But I can't wait for you guys all to watch along this story. And I think it's time for some more milk because he's trying.